Three lies you shouldn't believe about Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. So given the scope of Chapter 2 and Poppy Playtime, there is a lot of new information floating around about what is happening in the factory and how everything fits together. So of course, people have been combing over the entire factory and the files in the game, looking for every little bit of lore they can to hopefully piece together what is going on in Poppy Playtime. But this is where things get a bit dicey, because unfortunately, there are a lot of fake discoveries showing up online that are passed off as being real. And this sucks because a lot of these discoveries don't have commentary, so they never tell the person that they're fake. Of course, watching these are entertaining, but when someone can't tell the difference between this being true and this being false, then we have a problem. And I can't tell you how many times in my comment section people have shown up trying to tell me about these things, and I just feel bad because they truly believe they are real. So let's dive right into it. Lie number one, PJ Pugapillar did not die according to what we know in the game. People have been coming to my comment section over and over again, trying to tell me that they found PJ's body and that it can be found in the final room that you enter after you break through the window in the PJ Pugapillar chase. So after you get out of PJ's room, you enter that tunnel and mommy starts talking to you. And people claim that when she is basically yelling at you and getting mad, that if you were to go back into that room that you fell out of, PJ's body would be on the table within that room. And they believe this because there is a video where someone takes the PJ Pugapillar toy and they took it and they modded it. So they basically increased the scale by two or three times its size and put it on the table so it looks like it's the real size of PJ Pugapillar. And when someone sees a video that has, you know, hundreds of thousands or a million views and they do not clarify that it's fake, of course, someone may believe it, right? Like, holy crap, PJ Pugapillar actually died after that minigame. And of course, there is supporting evidence that the other characters before PJ did die. Both after you leave musical memory and after you finish the Wacka Wuggy minigame, you can hear the characters dying when you're going through the vents or you're in the next room. The audio files in the game are even labeled that. They literally say the character's death in the audio file name. But PJ's does not exist. So don't think that PJ Pugapillar's dead because I strongly believe he is not dead because we were the ones who cheated, technically. PJ didn't really fail because we were the ones who exited the minigame. So mommy's taking her anger out on us and not PJ. But unfortunately, that fake video is making people think that PJ did die, so that when they're trying to piece together the lore and what we may encounter in Chapter 3, they're of course thinking that PJ may not return. Which kind of takes us to the second lie, um, which is very similar. And it's about Bunzo Bunny. Because there are so many videos of people finding Bunzo Bunny's dead body around the factory. And his videos can have millions of views and no commentary explaining that they are fake. Whether you find Bunzo's body in the final chase scene, or as a lot of people say, if you go back to musical memory, after you hear him dying in the vents by the audio file, that you can actually see him up above dead. And both of these are false. Unfortunately, it is misinformation. Again, the videos are entertaining, but they're spreading the wrong message that are getting people confused. Both of these Bunzo bunnies are actually just the toy Bunzo bunny, the one you can find scattered around the facility. And they just increase the size of it with a mod. So it looks convincing because it is the size of the Bunzo who attacks you in musical memory. Now Bunzo's corpse obviously does exist and it's above us in the game station. Same with the Huggy Buddies. And of course, this is very confusing for people because they're believing it. And that's very unfortunate for anyone who's trying to piece together what's happening in the game. And this leads us to our final fake thing, which is based on a real thing. So there was a storyboard of Mommy Longleg's original death floating around online. So basically an animatic of her death sequence and how it was different than how it actually happens in the game. And this was official. This was uploaded by Madden Mangled, who was the actual storyboard artist for Chapter 2 for Poppy Playtime. But unfortunately, someone just took this entire video off of her Twitter and uploaded it on their own channel and got millions and millions of views. And of course, they didn't really credit the original artist. But this was only one of several storyboards that this creator uploaded on YouTube. And the problem is, because the first one was verified as being real, lots of people thought these other storyboards that were being uploaded, these animatics of these sequences that were cut from the game, were real as well. But they are not real. They are fan creations of situations that did not happen in the game. Of course, I reached out to Madden Mangold a few weeks ago, around May 19th, to clarify this, and they said the only real storyboards for the game are the ones I posted of Mommy Longleg's death. Which sucks, because a lot of people are believing these other storyboards are true when they are not. 
One of them shows Kissy Missy helping the player at the end of chapter two by giving them a key. And the other is another alternate death to Mommy Longlegs as she's getting burned alive in the oven area. But of course, fan creations in general are cool. I have no issues with those. But when you're not disclosing if something's fake and you're trying to pass it off as being real, that's when I have an issue. And it sucks because on the storyboards in general, like the Kissy Missy one, it says this is the deleted ending cameo for Kissy Missy. So of course, when I'm making my Kissy Missy video, and after it goes out, you know, about a week ago, people have been commenting about how Kissy Missy helps out the player at the end of chapter two in a secret cutscene. And I cannot verify if this is true or not because I haven't been able to find these files in the game. So while all these lies are entertaining as videos, I just kind of wish there was some more clarity on people actually explaining that, hey, these are not real. These are fan works so that people don't get confused because they didn't know they were lied to. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, please keep these things in mind as you're theorizing about Poppy Playtime Chapter 2, and I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers!